सो हाई फ्रेंड दिस अमित एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई चैनल इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड एजुकेशन वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट कॉमेट के काउंसिलिंग ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एज यू ऑल नो द कॉमेट के काउंसिलिंग इज गोइंग ऑन एंड राउंड वन इज ऑलरेडी टर्न सो हेयर आई विल टॉक अबाउट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड एंसर सो आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो लिटिल बिट लेट सो दट आई कैन कंसिडर ऑल टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इट इज गोइंग ऑन इन अ स्टूडेंट्स माइंड सो हेयर आई विल कंसिडर द रिफंड पॉलिसी अबाउट रिफंड पॉलिसी ऑफ दिस कॉमेट के काउंसिलिंग ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन दट इज हाउ यू कैन गेट द रिफंड अप टू विच टाइम यू कैन आस्क फॉर द रिफंड एंड एंड ऑल्सो द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ एक्सक्लूसिव राउंड एंड विच टाइप ऑफ स्टूडेंट विल भी एबल टू पार्टिसिपेट इन द एक्सक्लूसिव राउंड एंड वट विल बी द एक्सपेक्टेड कट ऑफ अप टू द लास्ट राउंड दट ऑल्सो आई विल कंसिडर एंड ऑल्सो आई विल टॉक अबाउट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इट इज विल द कट ऑफ राइज फॉर द नेक्स्ट राउंड दट इज सेकंड और थर्ड राउंड और नॉट सो ऑल दो थिंग आई विल डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो एंड ऑल्सो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सीट मैट्रिक्स बिकॉज मेनी स्टूडेंट आर आस्किंग दट दर इज जीरो सीट आर अवेलेबल in the pdf uh, that is shown on the official website so what is what is the meaning of that so all those thing i will consider in this video so if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get the regular update regarding the committee counseling and other counseling other interest exam also in this channel only so let's uh, start this video so here is the committee round 1 question and answer so as you also know the round 1 is already done and round 2 schedule is yet to announce once the round 2 schedule will be announced i will try to inform you about the round 2 also so here is the first question what to do now as you all have got the seat or many student didn't get the seat now, so what you need to do so if you haven't got any type of seat you don't need to do anything just wait for the next round but the student who have got the seat and if you are not happy with the seat then do accept an upgrade or reject an upgrade if you are not interested in that seat that you have got if you have little bit interest then do accept an upgrade so that this seat will be remain with you up to the next round and once you get the better seat you will lose this seat and you will get the another seat and if you will do reject and upgrade then also you have to pay all the money then only you will be able to participate for the next round so the question is if you will pay the fee and if you don't get any type of seat in the next subsequent round then what will happen with those money so you will get 100% refund of that money so no need to worry you can do that option as well if you are thinking you will get the seat and very soon i will provide you the expected cut off for all those colleges that is the top colleges so that you can estimate yourself you, whether you will get or not and you can do the decision making up to 9 pm tomorrow that is the 1st of december and if you have done accept and freeze then you should you should go to the college up to 3rd of december and if you have accept the seat and you don't want to take the admission now or you are not able to go to the college then you can do the surrender option as well so that you can get the 100% refund up to 5th of december so this is the complete information regarding the decision making that you need to do after the first round So next, if you talk about choice filling, whether you can change the choices or not. So listen it very carefully. It is if you have got any type of seat, you will not able to change your choices because once you get the seat, you will not able to make correction in your choices. If you have got the first option as your allotment in the first round, then you can able to add some more choices and you will able to maximize your chances in the next round. But but if you have got any type of seat and that is not the first choice, then you will not able to. change the choices and in the next round your above choices will be considered suppose you got the seventh number choice the choices from 1 to 6 will be considered in the next round and if you haven't got any type of seat then then you will able to do all those thing that is change change the preferences add add some choices or remove some choices also and one more thing i would like to tell you that if you have got the seat you will not able to add any choices but you will able to remove the choices suppose you got the number 10 choice and you are thinking that number 8 or 7 i i am not interested in that college now so you should delete that choices you will able to delete that but you will not able to add any choices now because it is not available for the student who have got the seat so next if you talk about will cut off rise and what about the seat matrix so cut off will rise 100% sure because i have done this counseling last year also in detail and i have seen so many changes in the next subsequent round and especially in exclusive round that i will talk later so now talk about the seat matrix many students are asking there is zero seat available so how i will get the seat in the next round so as you also know many of the student will not pay the fee so all those seat will be considered for the next round so the vacancy will be created last year also similar thing happened because i already told you in first round they will provide the seat to every student but every student will not take the seat and all those seat will be will remain vacant and those seat will be filled in the next round so don't lose your hope you will get the better seat in the next round if you have done all the thing correctly if you haven't got any type of seat now you should analyze your choice filling again and if you want any type of guidance for that you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box once you register with me i will guide you for everything from now till your admission is done i will make the necessary changes in your choice filling if required and i will also guide you for other counseling if you are doing ccm counseling or kc 
सीटी काउंसलिंग और एमएसटी सीटी और जैक काउंसलिंग आई विल गाइड यू फॉर दैट आल्सो एंड आई विल बी विथ यू टिल योर एडमिशन इज डन एट लास्ट आई विल आई विल आल्सो एडवाइस यू वेदर यू शुड गो विद दिस कॉलेज और दैट कॉलेज दिस ब्रांच और दैट ब्रांच अकॉर्डिंग टू योर पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट आफ्टर टॉकिंग विथ यूर इफ पॉसिबल विथ योर पेरेंट्स एज वेल बिकॉज इट्स अबाउट योर कैरियर सो यू शुड बी वेरी केयरफुल एट दिस टाइम अदरवाइज यू मे रिग्रेट लेटर आफ्टर ज्वाइनिंग अर रॉन्ग कॉलेज और रॉन्ग ब्रांच so next if you talk about chances of exclusive and what will be the eligibility of, of that uh, so there will be exclusive round 100% sure what will be the eligibility for that that i will talk later but now uh, let me confirm you why the exclusive round is important as you also know you will able to see in the seat matrix after first first round itself there is so many seats are vacant in different type of branches other than cs related branch so uh, so comet k will not want to leave the seat vacant because last year also there was so many seat vacant that's why they held the exclusive round and last year i was the first person who told that there will be exclusive round because i was doing all type of counseling across india so in every counseling the, uh, the authority don't want to leave the seat vacant because they have to fill all those seats that's why they conduct the exclusive round in some counseling it is known as a spot round so that, so that those seats can be filled uh, so i think this year also there will be exclusive round no need to do mail or anything they will do because of their benefit so don't need to do anything for the exclusive round and now let's talk about the eligibility so last year the eligibility criteria was if you haven't got any type of seat throughout the counseling that is first second third round then you will be eligible for that other and also the student who have got any type of seat and paid the fee that means they have reserved the seat then also they were ab- able to do the exclusive round and those the student who have who have got the seat and don't pay the fee those the student uh, we are not ab- able to participate in the exclusive round that's why i said in my previous video as well committee counseling is very important you have to do everything carefully so as, to, so as to get the best out of your rank and you will be able to participate in exclusive round only if you do everything correctly so the, because last year also i have seen so many student who got the seat at very high rank as well in the exclusive round because there will be very less student as compared to the original rounds of the counseling so next if you talk about branch versus college so i will advise you if you are from outside of karnataka and you are going to bangalore to, to do btech because of the placement then i will suggest you go with the lower college as well but with better branch because you have to do your job with your branch your college will remain with you only for 4 years but will do your job with your branch but if you are looking for higher study then you should go in better college to get the best exposure and best type of teachers there so this is the about the branch versus college but it needs a detailed discussion because different student have different type of personal interest i will provide you the separate decision for you only after talking with you so if you want once you register with me i will guide you for this also and everything till your admission is done So for expected cutoff, I have already provided you so many video regarding the top twenty five college expected cutoff up to the last round and lower fifteen college expect expected cutoff uh, up to the last round. So now again, I will provide you the expected cutoff based on the first round trend. Uh, and i will provide the branch wise expected cutoff for all the top colleges that is top 20 college so that you can estimate yourself which type of college you are going to get up to the last round or up to the exclusive round and now if you talk about the refund then if, if you want the refund then you have to do the surrender so now if you have got the seat and you have paid the money and you don't want to continue with the next uh, next round and you are not happy with the seat allotted then you can do the surrender option before 5th of december and for the second round similar type of date will be provided so that i will inform you but if you need the refund then you have to do the surrender before the third round itself that is if you want the uh, refund now do the surrender before the second round that is before 5th of the december and if you want the refund after second round then you should do the surrender option in that a specified period that will be provided on the schedule of round 2 so this is all about this video here i have considered all your questions so if you have any more question try to comment down your questions so that i can take those question in my next video and regularly i will provide you this type of information so that you will not have any type of doubt regarding your counseling of comet k so once again i would like to inform you that if you need the counseling guidance for this counseling or you are doing any other counseling simultaneously i will guide you for that also so that you will get the best out of your end that will be my responsibility and also i will be connected to you from now till your admission is done so thanks for watching this video please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all the update in this channel only regarding the comet and other counseling other entrance exam also in this channel only thanks